Sorry about the raucous entrance. Spike in Artron energy reading at this address. In the light of the last 24 hours, we had to check it out, and uh, the dogs do love a run out. Hello. Kate Stewart, head of scientific research at UNIT. And with dress sense like that... You must be the doctor. I hope we're not here because we know too much. Yes, I've got officers trained in beheading. Also, ravens of death. I'm, I'm lost, doctor. We all are. Don't despair, Kate. Your dad never did. Kate Stewart, heading up unit, changing the way they work. How could you not be? Why did you drop Lethbridge? I didn't want any favours, though he guided me, even to the end. Science leads, he always told me. Said he'd learnt that from an old friend. She's right, you don't have to be in there. We can do this remotely. Remotely isn't my style. Mom! Mom! The ravens are looking a bit sluggish. Tell Malcolm they need new batteries. It's him. Sorry, it's your personal phone, but well, I recognize the ringtone. It's him, isn't it? Inhaler, doctor, hello. We found the TARDIS in a field. I'm having it brought here. No killing! Where are you? Oh, my God. Oh, doctor, I'm so sorry. We had no idea you were still in there. Come on. Kate! Goodness, you're not actually dead. Oh, that's tremendous news. Oh. Those creatures, they turn themselves into copies. Maybe they need to keep the original alive. Refresh the image, so to speak. Well, where did they go? I don't know. Ooh. Hang on, yes, I do. The tower. Well, if those creatures have got access to the Black Archive, we may just have lost control of the planet. Quite so. It's key to your voice print. And mine alone. Not anymore. Cancel the detonation. Countermanded! Cancel the detonation! Countermanded! We only have to agree to live. Sadly, we can only agree to die. Please, Doctor. Please save us. Please save us. Please save us. It's funny, isn't it? If I'm a Zygon, then my clothes must be Zygon too, so... What happens if I lose a shoe or something? Bow ties are cool. Big smiles and now! You've picked a lovely day for it. My turn. You look shiny. Haircut. Bit of a trim. Might want to do your roots. The woman. Yes, ma'am. Kate Stewart, divorcee, mother of two, keen gardener, outstanding bridge player. Also, chief scientific officer, unified intelligence task force, who currently have you surrounded. Human weaponry is not effective against cyber technology. Sorry, you left this behind on one of your previous attempts. So now that I have your attention, welcome to the only planet in the universe where we get to say this. He's on the payroll. Am I? Well, technically. How much? Shush. Any questions? The incursion protocols have been agreed internationally. In the event of full-scale invasion, an Earth president is inducted immediately with complete authority over every nation-state. Well, there was only one practical candidate. Well, that's your answer for everything, isn't it? Vote for an idiot. If you say so, Mr. President. So long as you're on this plane, you're the commander-in-chief of every army on Earth. Every world leader is currently awaiting your instructions. Where are we going? Cloud base. You mean the Valiant? Cloud base was Thunderbirds. Too conspicuous. It's Captain Scarlet. Sorry? Not the Thunderbirds. So it was. They've kidnapped Osgood and they've stolen the location of every Zygon on Earth. There will be truth. Or there will be consequences. Why do you have a Union Jack parachute? Um, camouflage. Camouflage? Yes, we're in Britain. <sighs> oh, your specs are broken. I'll fix them. You can wear mine. They're sonic. Sonic specs? Yeah. Isn't that a bit pointless? Like a visual hearing aid? Why didn't that Zygon blow us up with her big bazooka? She did blow us up with her big bazooka. This is us being blown up with a big bazooka. Mm. But, I mean, she seems to know what she's doing. The first thing I'd do if I wanted to invade the world would be to kill you. Thanks. I wouldn't even let you get talking, like you always do. 
Bullet between the eyes, first thing. Again, thank you. Well, Twelve times, if necessary. Oh, yes. Well, why limit yourself? You've really thought this through, haven't you? I'm a big fan. What's your name? Osgood. No, 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 your first name. And what's your first name? Basil. Petronella. Let's just uh, stick with what we had. Sorry, Doctor. Self defense. You're you. I'm me. You are you. I'm me. But human or Zygon? Me. What are we dealing with? Hello. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Stop this. Stop this, please. Let me take both of you. That's not a phrase that sits well in my family or unit itself. Nevertheless. Unit's operations will be wound down forthwith. I see you. I see you. Whatever you are. Hiding in plain sight for so long. I am the head of Unit. And if you don't stop this, I will expose you. Good. I have to go dark. Or you, Doctor. Thank you. As always, where would Earth be without you? Always glad to help. I like this regeneration. I hope I meet it again. I hope so, too. Look after yourself, Kate Stewart. Get your hands in the air. Madam, who are you? And what are you doing in my tunnels? Readings for Artron Energy, at least. Two of you have had proximity to a TARDIS. Ah, that TARDIS, maybe.